In this video, I am going to show how to make a candlestick chart in Google Sheets. So the first thing that I need is the data that I'm going to use to create my chart. So if you're not really familiar with candlestick charts, I'm going to need a date, an opening value, high, low, and closing values. So before I make the chart, the best practice is to format my cells appropriately just to minimize the chance of mistakes. Sometimes you don't even really need to format your cells, but just to be on the safe side, what I like to do is I like to format uh, the price values as financial format and then the date values as plain text. So what I want to do is select the range of cells that contains my pricing values, format, number, and then select financial. And then for my date values, I'm going to highlight that range, format, number, plain text. So you don't really need to do this all the time, but just to be on the safe side, I like to do it. So to create the chart, what I need to do is select the range of cells that contains my data. And you want to make sure that you also have the header rows highlighted in this. And then what you want to do is insert chart so you can either select here in the toolbar or you can go insert chart here so that is going to insert a chart into your google sheet but this is not a um, candlestick chart so what you're going to want to do is change the chart type and you should see this chart editor appear on the right hand side if it doesn't appear or you lose it you can double click on your chart or when you click on your chart, there's a three dot menu, edit chart. So then under this chart type section, you are going to see candlestick chart. It is this one, but this is not correct right now because the opening high, low and closing values are not in the right order. What it is supposed to be in is low, open, close, high. So what you want to do, low, open, close, high. This is going to change your order to the appropriate order. And you can see now it actually looks like a candlestick chart. So some people like to um, create their chart and then change um, the order of these columns. Other people like to change the order of the columns in Google Sheets first before creating the chart. That is up to you. Um, if you were gonna do that, it's the same process. So I just wanna get my columns in the right order before I actually create the chart. So the order is low, open, close, high. And then if you wanna be on the safe side, format to financial, format to plain text, and then I can insert chart. And you can see my candlestick chart is now in the right order. That is pretty much it for making a chart. Um, if you want to customize a chart, you select this customize tab and there's five different settings in here you can play with. Chart style, you can play with um, the color, and you have like border colors, um, the fonts. In chart and access title, this will be um, your chart and access titles essentially. So you can change the font style, font colors. Um, horizontal axis, changing the font styles, font colors. Your horizontal axis, vertical axis, same thing, but on the vertical axis. And then lastly, grid lines and ticks. So if you want to change the spacing, or add more grid lines and ticks. Um, you can edit that here all on the customize tab of this chart editor. Um, and that's pretty much it for this video. You can see it's very simple to do. Um, another thing you can do is you can use the Google Finance function to import um, stock information and then create a candlestick chart with that data. That is beyond the scope of this video. Um, but you can see once you learn to create candlestick charts, there's actually a lot you can do with them in Google Sheets and it's very easy to do. 
Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.